excellent. Hey, thanks for tuning into the Rexa show. Today I got a two part video for you. I'm going to show you how to install PCSX2 PS2 emulator on Linux, uh, in this example specifically Ubuntu. And then in the second video, I'm going to show you how to add PCSX2 into RetroPie. Now, if you tried to add PCSX2 normally onto RetroPie, you get this error. PCSX2 cannot be installed on a 64 bit system with the RetroPie custom version. Blah, blah, blah. Do, do, do you want to downgrade? No, I don't want to downgrade. So, how do you get it onto RetroPie? Well, I'm going to show you that in the second part. If you're new to the channel, I'm working on a Latte Panda Alpha, and that's what I'm going to be running PCSX2 on. Obviously, you cannot run a PlayStation 2 emulator on Raspberry Pi. So, if you do follow me on that, you know, a lot of my videos are on Raspberry Pi, the 3B, and it doesn't run, obviously. Let's get started on a fresh install of PCSX2 on, on my Latte Panda. And on the next video, I'm going to do some testing and I'll show you the emulation. But on this one, I'm just going to install the PCSX2 emulator. I'm going to link this website in the, in the description. Uh, this is the instructions from GitHub on how to install PCSX2 onto Linux. I'm doing it on Ubuntu. So I'm going to go down to the Ubuntu section. In these instructions, you're going to see that they want you to enter a command uh, with this Gregory PPA, special PPA here. You do not need to enter this anymore because the package is now in the default repository. So this instruction should not be needed anymore. I was having problems uh, trying to use these instructions from other videos and I was still getting missing dependency. Um, I was still having other issues. So I'm going to show you what three commands you should only need to get this up and running. And if you run into any missing dependencies, we're going to install those as well then PCSX2 should be installed onto Ubuntu. So let's get started. Okay, the first instruction we're gonna do is this one, which is the uh, adding architecture for 32-bit package uh, for a 64-bit system. Then we're gonna do sudo app update. Then we're gonna do sudo app install PCSX2. Now, you can see that we have these unmet dependencies. This is what I was expecting as well. So we're gonna add these dependencies. I believe we only need to add this first one here and then it'll run, so let's try that one. sudo apt install lib. Okay, looks like we have a successful update. We'll take a look at it. Now, if you still have some errors after that, uh, you may want to try sudo apt upgrade upgrade first and then go ahead and do the instructions again and, and then add the dependencies as well. Now we're just going to type in PCSX2. There it is right there. I'm going to add it to favorites. We're going to open it up and we're going to walk through the steps to get this set up. Next here, not going to configure anything in here. We're going to use default setting. BIOS. Now this is critical. You're going to have to add your PCSX2 BIOS into here. Now there's a default setting here, as you can see. Home, the Rex will show config PCSX2 BIOS, where they're wanting me to put them. So we're just going to add them to our home. Config PCSX2 BIOS. I'm going to paste the whole folder in right now, but I'm going to open them up individually. I'm going to copy and paste them individually into that specific folder. If you've watched my videos before, you know I'm a fan of just putting as many BIOS as possible into the folders uh, where the BIOS goes. I don't know which ones work all the time, uh, but if I have a bunch of BIOS, it doesn't hurt to put them all in there. So I'm just going to put them all in there. Okay. 
you're going to be on the hook to find the bios yourself. It shouldn't be that hard with a simple Google search. Now that we have that, we're going to refresh. I'm going to say select the bios ROM. I'm going to do USA. And we're going to click finish. Looks like everything was successful here. That's a good sign. And here's your PCSX2 1.40 version, which is the versions of in Ubuntu 18.04 uh, or 18.1. I believe if you're on Ubuntu 19.1, you get version 1.5. Now there's a few videos out there you can look to see how you want to configure your PCSX2. I'm not going to go over that in detail. I will go over a couple things. Controller setup. I'm on an arcade. I use my Latte Panda for an arcade. And also, as you can see, I, I'm actually recording as I do this from my Latte Panda using OBS, which is why I love the Latte Panda. Simplifies things. Simply going to click the button and uh, push, a, push a directional pad and follow all the instructions here. Also, in these settings, you can change where you put your plugin or your BIOS. Uh, you can change all the default settings through this menu if you didn't set them up right from the beginning. I would simply Google instructions on how to set up PCSX2, and there's some good videos out there that'll show you some of the settings that you may want to change. I've set this up on my PC. Uh, I use basically all the default settings. The only one I really wanted to fix was my video plugin settings. And in here, you'll see if you simply put your cursor over a lot of these, it'll explain what it is. And then obviously, your internal resolution. This is going to have a high impact on your performance of this emulator. So I believe the native is 480p, uh, but if you go up two times, three times, four times, five times, you're going to start seeing impact in performance of the emulator depending on the power of your PC or your system. Another one you may want to take a look at is in your emulation settings, uh, the GS window. You can change some of your um, aspects here to your screen, whether you want widescreen or four by three, uh, and obviously a custom window size to align with that. Um, but other than that, you can pretty much leave them default and play. And you may be asking yourself how to load the games. Well, you're gonna go here and you're gonna put your games in this section here is what I do. Um, basically, I just dump them into my PCSX2 folder, home, config, PCSX2 and just dump your ISOs right into here. I use ISOs for all my PCSX2 games. Then when you go into here, you're going to see it and you can select it and open it. Again, we're on the ISO here. So when you simply go to here, you're going to see once you load them, all these games come up as well right here. And then you select and launch. And you launch by either boot CDVD full or boot CDVD fast. And again, I'll do the emulation testing on the next video when I show you how to add PCSX2 into RetroPie because I want to run PCSX2 just like I run all my other emulators inside of RetroPie. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe and put a notification if you want to get that one when it comes out. Thanks for watching The Rexer Show.